Yeah, this is Tom from 2K of Aquatics, and I'm looking at this, what I'm pretty much sure is a Helgramite. We brought home this jar, this gallon jar towards the left over here would be the head, and he's definitely got pincher mouth. And the little hairs stick up on the back. There's his tail. You can see his tail back here. I'm gonna try to and there. See that's the head. And the tail is back here on this side. He's got a very distinct tail. You can see the hairs and the legs underneath it. Right up underneath there. And uh I said I'm fairly positive that's a Helgramite. And then let me see. Over here maybe. Where are they at? There's some little ones in here. They have like little oval shaped heads. And uh like two little um flippers almost <laughs> with a tail on the back of them that are hopping all around here. They get up on the glass. I don't know if I can point them out. There goes that little beetle. But yeah, they're uh, very different than a lot of these. And it looks like maybe a bunch of possibly sea shrimp, some kind of ostracized down here. Just teeming on the bottom. Tons and thousands and thousands of them. We're trying to get a good look, focusing on some of those. Yeah, if you can, uh, if there's anybody that knows right offhand what some of these are, I'd appreciate a, a comment. It's kind of hard to focus in on some of them. But, um, we're just, yeah, here's that. I'm pretty positive as a Helgramite right there. Next to that snail and beetle. I was talking to my wife about maybe just uh, going and grabbing a little five and a half gallon aquarium and dumping the total contents of these three jars into it. They just put these three jars in their, in their entirety. There's this tail on this left hand side over here. Yeah, just get a little five and a half a gallon aquarium. I, I don't have to put a heater in it. I don't have to put an air stone. I might though. Um, I don't have to, uh, like I said, a heater, a light. I can set it near a window. It'll be plenty light. And, uh, Get some of that algae in here. That's up in the top of this jar. Get some of that. Time for some of that to grow. Um, whatever's on these leaves. And some of these snails. Some actually some pretty cool snails in here. I don't want to put my <coughs> tank. My many of my aquariums upstairs, but they're definitely worth uh, keeping a hold of, I'm thinking. So yeah, I think maybe tomorrow, whatever. Um, we go grab another little five and a half gallon tank and put the contents of these jars in them. Let me get my magnifying glass here and uh, put everything that's in these three jars in there and possibly go to another place and grab a few more another jar or two and put it all in a five gallon aquarium and just make some videos of it and I can use a pipette a little pipette and I can reach down in there and any time I care to get any any bit of this and uh, put it in my aquariums 
all this good stuff here. I'm not afraid of this stuff. Getting to my tanks a bit. Yeah, I might name this guy here. He looks pretty brutal. And if you look up a pilgrimite on the line, they're pretty interesting. Name more for transferring to something else. So yeah, research what an elgramite is. I believe that's what I got here. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Absolutely. I'm going to get a five and a half a gallon aquarium and uh, I'm going to put all this stuff in one tank. And see what develops. Over here from the Rondout Creek. Uh, these are either some of the biggest scuds I've ever seen or some type of freshwater shrimp in here. I'll give it some time to settle down. There's a few of them in here. And then this one from Lake Antiora. Antiora. Well, I guess it depends on what part of the world you're from, Auntie or Auntie. <laughs> some people say aunt, some people say aunt, whatever. It's a nice lake. I thought so, yeah. So, yeah, probably the next time you see these three jars, the Father Fish Resurrection jars. Especially since I got all this stuff here. I know for a fact these plants will continue to grow. Because uh, they've got roots and everything. I've seen the roots. And these look a lot like water plant. Like they remind me of my Kabama plants. So yeah, I think the next time you see this stuff, it's going to be... And uh, two caves aquatics resurrection tank leaves and uh, everything that's on those leaves, and then we can get a lot better look at it uh, once it's in the tank and watch this grow. Just uh, have fun and see what happens in here. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with this. There's three gallons right here, and uh, I can always get another. Oh, here's another piece of driftwood I have. And uh, 